Okay, this is just a continuation video from last time where we are going to find dy dx for this equation right here. And in this video, I will show you guys there's two ways to do it. The first way is that we will do implicit differentiation just like last time, but today we are going to actually simplify the answer more. And then the second one is we'll actually solve for y from this equation right here first, and then we'll do the derivative. And hopefully we'll see that the answer at the end are the same. And you can comment down below and let me know which approach that you like better. Anyway, we will start by using implicit differentiation. And to do that, let me just write this down again. Square root of x plus y and minus square root of x minus y. This is equal to 1. And we are just going to put down d dx means that to take the derivative, and the derivative of square root of something, we know it's 1 over 2 square root of the inside, but we have to multiply by the derivative of the inside because of the chain rule. So the derivative of x is 1, plus the derivative of y is dy dx. We just put that down. OK, and then we have the minus the derivative of square root again. So it's 1 over 2 square root x minus y this time. And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside, and we get 1 minus dy dx. And this is equal to the derivative of 0, which is nicely equal to, I mean derivative of 1, which is nicely equal to 0. So that's what we have. And then we are going to just distribute this, so we can collect like terms, and then we'll isolate the dy dx. So for this right here, it's just 1 over 2 square root of x plus y times 1, and then plus this times that, which is 1 over 2 square root of x plus y, and then the dy dx, and this times that is minus 1 over 2 square root of x minus y. This times that is plus, so that's indicate the minus and the plus. And here we have that and that, which is 1 over 2 square root of x minus y dy dx. And this is still nicely equal to 0. Now I'm going to leave both terms right here on the left hand side because they have the dy dx. And then I will bring these two terms to the other side. So when I keep these two terms on the left hand side, I will actually factor out this and that in the parentheses and then factor the, this right here and put that at the end. So I will first write down 1 over 2 square root of x plus y plus 1 over 2 square root of x minus y and then both terms have that dy dx, and it's right here now. And this is equal to, bring this to the other side first, so we get positive. It's good to be positive, of course. So let's do that first. And then, of course, sometimes we tell you it's negative. Bring this to the other side. Minus 1 over 2 square root of x plus y. Then we divide down both sides. So we see that dy dx is nothing but just this over that, which is 1 over 2 square root of x minus y minus square root, 2 square root of x plus y on the bottom here, and then all over that, which is 1 over. And allow me to put this down first so that they match. Yeah? So I'll put this down, namely 2 square root of x minus y, and then plus, they're both positive, so the order doesn't matter at all. So this is what we have. And then from here, we can just multiply top and bottom by the least common denominator, which is just this and that. So I'll put down 2 square root of x minus y, square root of x plus y. Likewise, we do the same thing on the denominator. And then we will see that this, which is the answer that we have, that the dy dx is what we want. When we do this times that, the 2 and the square root of x minus y cancel, so we just have this positive square root of x plus y. And then when we do this times that, 2 and this and that cancel, so we have the minus square root of x minus y over, when we do this times that, this and that cancel, so we have the positive version, so square root of x plus y. And then this is a plus in between, and then we have this times that, and we have that left. So <laughs> this is what we have which is pretty nice. However, we can even make this nicer because we notice this right here is just nicely equal to 1. Right, square root of x plus y minus square root of x minus y like this. This whole thing is nicely equal to 1 by the original. So perhaps I'll just box this in blue. 
to kind of just show you guys. And of course, we can just take the advantage of that and I will write it down as 1 over that, which is square root of x plus y uh, plus square root of x minus y. And you think we are done, but not yet, because in fact, if you multiply by the conjugate, we can simplify it more. So let's do that. So I will multiply the top and bottom by square root of x plus y and then minus square root of x minus y. And in case if you're wondering, could I multiply the conjugate of the denominator right here? And the answer to that is yes. So up to you when you want to do it, doesn't really matter that much. Because in fact, when I do this, this is still equal to 1, right? Anyway, I will put down the result right here. Once again, this times 1. Guess what? This is still 1 because of the original. Square root of x plus y minus square root of x minus y is equal to 1. So on the top, you seriously just get 1. And then on the denominator, when you do this, you pretty much have this square and then minus that square. Therefore, you get x plus y only, but you minus the second part, which is that, and I will put this in your parentheses, x minus y. So it's pretty much just this now. And if you would like, you see, x minus x is 0, right? So that's pretty much it. And then uh, we have the y left. We have 1 over y minus negative y, therefore it's 1 minus 2y, and guess what? Oh my god, this is done. Yeah, so if you really want, you can simplify the answer up to this point. I think this is perhaps the shortest form of the answer, right? Just 1 over 2y. All right, now, uh, second way, I'm going to attempt to solve for y first. And to do so, because we have two square roots, so why don't we just try to move this to the other side and then square both sides? And when we do that, I'm looking at the equation as square root of x plus y equals to 1 plus square root of x minus y. And then I will square both sides. And when we do that, this is nicely equal to x plus y. And when you do that, you get 1 square plus 2 times this and that, therefore it's 2 square root of x minus y. And then you add it with this square, which is just plus x minus y, like this. Okay, it's not that bad because notice we have x on both sides, so they cancel. But you have to bring this to the other side, so you add a y on both sides, yeah? And that's also minus 1 on both sides, like this. So you see we have on the left hand side y plus y is 2y and then the minus 1. This is equal to 2 square root of x minus y. And then from here you square both sides again so that you can get rid of the square root. And if you multiply this out, you do this square which is 4y square minus this and that, right, and then times 2. So you get 2 times this, which is 4y times 1 and just 4y. And then this square, you add 1, and then that's pretty much it. Okay, and then for this, you square the 2, which is 4, and this square becomes just a regular parentheses, and then you have the x minus y like this. All right, so that's what we have. And yeah, I am going to just move this around again. So this is this 4y squared minus 4y plus 1. This is equal to 4x minus 4y. And nicely enough, this and that cancel each other out, isn't it? Okay, so it's not that bad. I am going to move the 1 to the other side, and I will keep the 4y squared right here. And that's equal to 4x minus 1. And I want to solve for y, so I will divide everything by 4. So you will see that I will just divide everything by 4 like this. And I will keep it as like y squared equals to, this is just x, this is minus, let's use fraction. Yeah, like that, hopefully you guys don't mind. And then you take the square root on both sides, and here is the trouble, like, should you use the plus or should you use the minus? Well, if you want to just have expression, maybe you want to keep the plus minus. And then, depending on if you have a given point, so maybe you have like x comma y, like maybe, I don't know which number is going to work. One half and one half, right? And things like that. And depending on the y value, if it's negative or positive, you plug into the expression accordingly. Anyway, this right here, 
Finally, we reach that y is equal to. Let's just keep the plus minus. And keep in mind, this is just like a constant multiple. So it's like a plus one times square root or the negative one times the square root. So just keep that in mind. And this is x minus one over four. And then from here, we can do our derivative. So if I differentiate this, and just to be respectful, I will put down the ddx as well for this guy. Otherwise, it's going to be mad at me because I did that with that equation. I didn't do this. That's no good. So here, dy dx. I want to use the same notation. Here, we have to just differentiate this. And the plus minus stays for now. The derivative of square root of something is just 1 over 2 square root of x minus 1 over 4. And the derivative of inside, the derivative of x is 1. The derivative of this is just 0, so you multiply by 1. So it doesn't really matter. Yeah, so you see that the algebra step is right here, and then <laughs> this is the only calculus step. And we did a calculus step right here, and then the rest is just algebra. And you might be wondering, is this in fact the same as that? Well, if you look back, I will write it down for you. dy dx is equal to y is precisely equal to plus minus square root of x minus 1 over 4. Check this out. y is equal to plus minus square root of x minus 1 over 4. And don't we see that right here as well? Yes, we do. Plus minus square root of x minus 1 over 4. So this is the same as 1 on the top over 2 right here. But this part in blue is nothing but just a nice y. Same thing over there. OK, so this is pretty much it. And leave a comment down below and let me know. Do you guess that implicit differentiation, where you do the calculus first and then the rest are algebra? And the other one is you do the algebra first and then you do the derivative right here, the usual way. Let me know which one you like better. Anyway, hopefully you guys all like this video. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And as always, that's it.